Good evening, Rodrigo. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Glad to see you again. It's nice to see you too. How are you? Fine, fine, very fine. Last night I was uh, travel with my computer because oh. the internet, the internet is, is, is wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mm. get it. It happens a lot. Yeah, yeah. But, but now I, I am ready. All right. Very good. So how was your day? Good, good, good. Very nice, very nice. Great, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, so always, you... always I am funny. Oh, I enjoy nice. Yeah, I enjoyed it because uh, I think that uh, every day God bless us yeah. very much. Yeah. Yes, and that's always, right. And always I am very happy. Whoa. And, and yeah, it's very exciting for me to uh, receive the class in this uh, way. Very nice. So, yeah, it's very nice to have this attitude. It's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. So, did you have to work today? Sorry? Did you have to work today? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I, I went. I visited uh, several customer because I'm salesman. Oh, okay. I have a little appointment and uh, it was very nice. Okay, great. And how long are you teacher? Um, how long I've been a teacher or what do you mean? Yes, yes. How long so, I've been? Yeah, I've been teaching for about Five years already. Five years. Yes. Five. Do you like it? I love it. Oh, right. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, I'm very happy with my job. I really like it. You know, it's complicated at some points, but um, I mean, it's part of it, right? And why, why you are a teacher? Well, I like to teach other people. You know, I like to share what I know with others. Oh, I really good. Enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, because uh, I know teachers that is have that job uh, for other things, oh, yeah, economic decisions, uh, yeah. for is, life. Yeah, which isn't right, right? It's um well, it's and, complicated because teachers do not earn much money, so don't come here to teach if you want to make money. It's not a great idea. <laughs> But 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 it's, I think that I know that teachers that uh, obtain any money in their jobs. Well, yeah, some places, right? It's well, it's not British so bad. British Academy, mm -hmm. British Academy. Oh yeah. American school, American yes, school. Yes, those are good ones. The teacher of the tennis. Mm -hmm. Good to obtain their money. Yeah. A lot of money. Yeah, you're right. But the difference is that they enjoy their jobs. Exactly. That's, that's the reason. That's the important part, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my case. I enjoy my profession. And every day for me is very nice. Always I'm happy. Excellent. Good. Good evening, Francisco. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm very good, teacher. Excellent. So, how was your? Thank you. And you? I'm doing well. Thank you. <laughs> this day, very relaxed in my work, teacher. Okay, that's good for you. Is that? Yes, it's a fresh day. Okay, nice. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, Juan Carlos. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm very well, teacher. Excellent. How was your day? Um, I wore a lot, but, but I'm ready for the class. Okay, great. Very good. 
So okay. how about the platform? Have you had any time to work in the platform? Yeah, teacher. Um, um, uh, section four, finish. You finished section four. Very yeah. good. Okay, so that's great. Congratulations. Just keep going. Thank you, teacher. And how about Rodrigo? Rodrigo, what section are you in? I am in five sections. Okay, mm -hmm. the fifth section. Okay. Yeah, good. and thanks for your help me. Oh, you're welcome. I'm here <laughs> to help whenever you need it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Good evening, Marina. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. Hello? Very good. Now I can hear you. So it's very, very nice to hear that you're fine. Repeat, please, teacher. Oh, I'm glad to hear that you're fine. Uh, because I um, relax okay. uh, in 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 the work uh, work only routine. Oh, uh, no problems. All right. It was quiet and calm. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Qu teacher, quiet is como tranquil. Exactly. Good evening, Janari. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm a little tired because I work uh, all day long oh, yeah. today, but it was a little stressful, my day. I can imagine. Uh, yes, in my job, but in, in the afternoon was a little relaxed. Okay. Uh, we have a problem with a uh, system oh. and that we we use, but in uh, night, uh, like 7 p.m., it was okay. <laughs> All the right. System. Yes, teacher. Yes. So now just forget about the, the job, right? We need to read. Yes. 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 Uh, it was okay. <laughs> All right, that's nice. Good evening, Hilda. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing well, thank you. So, how hey. was your day? I was a little tired. In, oh. in I am busy in my office. Mm -hmm. I always busy in my house. I, I take my family with a cook. Mm -hmm. uh, little, uh, uh, little, uh, 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 muchas cosas más, no? I, uh, uh, and some other things. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy. <laughs> Great. Tired, tired, but happy. <laughs> That's the important thing. Yes. Good evening, Silvia Roxana. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you, Sylvia? Fine, teacher. And you? Great. I'm fine too. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I, my day uh, relaxed. It was relaxing. Okay. 
That's yes. nice. Yes. Good evening, Marina. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. And Roxana, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm great. All right. Very well. How was your day? Mm, I think mm, um, busy. It was busy. busy day. Okay. You can imagine. Good evening, Adonai. Adonai, hello. Oh, maybe he's having trouble with the connection or something. Good evening, Morena. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Just fine. Are you? Great. Okay. Pretty well, thanks. Okay. <laughs> Good evening, Gladys. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. All right, I'm glad to hear that. So how about we start with the class? Let's get the ball rolling. So welcome everybody to our second class. Well, we are going to start by um, reviewing what we studied yesterday. So I remember I told you a little bit about the yes, no questions, right? But before we get to that, I need you to tell me if there are any questions about any of the exercises in the platform or any of the topics, maybe. Any questions? No, teacher, it's okay. All right. So, Let's start by watching the video. Maybe you have watched it, but let's just um, remember about the yes, no questions and the WH questions. So let me see. All right, so please pay attention to Miss Jessica. She's going to explain about yes, no questions and WH questions we do and does. Participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do and does along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes, no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no, and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Did you notice both auxiliaries? Do and does. Do. Does. Did you notice the changes that occur when we use the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Thus, he play the piano. If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. 
Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. Okay, Hello. so, so Miss Jessica explained a little bit about the, the yes, no questions, right? And how to use do and does. So as I explained yesterday, we use this structure for the yes, no questions, do, does, then the subject, then the verb, and then the complement. And here we have some examples, right? Do you like electronic music? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does she like shrimps? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Do they love orange juice? Yes, they do. No, they don't, right? So what are the subjects that need does? What are the subjects that need does? Guys, he and he, she, he, and we're it, missing one. It, it, exactly. She, he, it. So for those ones, we use does. For the other ones, I, you, we, and they use do. So now it's time to practice. So let's start by asking a classmate, do you like? And here we have a list of things. So the first question would be, do you like ice cream? Marina, do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. Okay, can you ask the second question to Gladys, please? Uh, Gladys, do you like country, country music? Yes. Yes, I do. All right, great. Gladys, ask Morena, please. Number three. Morena, do you like mm, drawing? What's the meaning of drawing? Drawing, dibujar. Excuse me? Dibujar. I don't like. <laughs> you don't like it, okay. <laughs> All right, Morena, ask Sylvia, number four, please. Do you like English, Sylvia? Yes, I do. Great. Sylvia, ask Roxana, number five. Okay. Roxana, <laughs> do you like board games? Board games. I see what I teach. Exactly, board games. Board games. So, Roxana? <laughs> Sorry, Roxana. Hello. Excuse me, I have a problem with the internet. Oh, but now we can hear you. Can you repeat the question, please? Can you repeat? You like Hello? Mm -hmm. Board games. Board games. Roxana? Do you like board games? And um, do you know the meaning of board games? Monopoly. Yeah, like Monopoly, right? Uno. Uh -huh. Juegos de mesa. So, do you like them? Oh, I think she's gone. All right, so how about rolling with internet? Yeah, you're having trouble. Okay, so Roxana, do you like board games? Okay, how about Rodrigo? Rodrigo, do you like board games? Yes, I like the board games. Excellent. Now ask Morena, please. Morena, do you like uh, the cats? 
Yes, I yes, I like. Okay. Very good. Morena, ask, let's see, Francisco, please. Uh, Francisco, do you like dogs? Yes, I like. Okay, just remember that the, the answer goes like, yes, I do or no, I don't, right? In the case when okay. you want to use like, say, um, yes, I like dogs or no, I don't like cats, for instance. Okay, yes, I do. Okay, very well, Francisco. Now ask Juan Carlos about snake. Juan, Car okay. Juan Carlos, do you like a snake? No, I don't. Okay, Juan Carlos, ask Vicky. Vicky, do you like lizard? What does mean lizard? Lizards, um, lagartijas. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> okay. So now it's your turn to ask. Let's see who's missing. Janari? Janari, do you like teddy bears? Yes, I do. Great. Janari, <laughs> now ask Marina. Marina, do you like flowers? Uh, yes, I do. Very good. Marina, ask. Let's see who's missing. Adonai. Uh, Adonai, do you like, teacher, uh, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, uh, the, co the correct is, do you like chocolate or yeah. do you like a chocolate? Do you like chocolate? Uh, uh, Adonai, do you like chocolate? Yes, I do. Great. Adonai, ask Hilda. Hilda, do you like the fish? Yes, yes, I like. You like them, okay. Now, Hilda, ask Gladys. Do you like cake, Gladys? Yes, I do. Okay, very well. And I like cake. Excellent. Gladys, now ask Morena Aguila, please. Do you like um, apple juice? Yes, I do. Excellent. So that's the way we ask questions with do you like, right? Just um, here, whenever you make a question with, for example, cats or dogs, you only say, do you like cats? Or do you like dogs? You do not say, do you like that cats? Or do you like that dogs? Do you like that snakes? Don't add that da, right? You only say, do you like cat? Do you like dogs? Do you like lizards? Because if you add the, that means that you are talking about a specific um, maybe group of, of animals. So for example, if I had some cats over here and then I said, do you like the cats? I could say that because I'm referring to this cats that I have. But if I'm talking in general, then I just say, do you like cats, okay? Okay. All right, and also again, for the answers, we have yes, I do, or no, I don't. And in the case of the long answers, we say, yes, I like cats. Or you could also say, yes, I like them, right? Yes, I like them. And in the negative, it will become, no, I don't like cats. Or no, I don't like them. So those are the ways to answer these kind of questions. First with the short answers, yes, I do, no, I don't. Or if we want to use the long answers, yes, I like cats, yes, I like them. 
no, I don't like cats, no, I don't like them, or in the case, for example, of chocolate, do you like chocolate? Yes, I like it, right? So it depends on what we're talking about. Okay, so now that we can make questions with do you like, we can also make questions using any other verb because, uh, well, we follow the same structure, we only change that verb like, right? Instead of saying, do you like, you change it for the verb you are going to use. For example, here, do you play soccer, right? Do you play soccer? Mm -hmm. Let's see, um, can somebody help me to make the second question? Do they read books? Do they read books? Very good. Next one. Anybody? Do your brother, Do your brother travel, travel by bus? By Do or yes. does? The, uh, does, your does. Does, right? does, does, does? Does your brother? Does. does your brother travel by bus? Does your brother travel by bus? Does and the answers. Brother. The answers could be. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. No, he or doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, right? no he doesn't. Yes. Or in the case I want to say the long answers, that would be yes, my brother travels by bus, or no, my brother doesn't travel by bus. Here we have another one. Can you make a question, please? Does dog like cat? Does dog does, like cat? Does, does or do? do. Do you like dogs or cats? Is it like the person uh, We're talking about dogs. It's plural. So just be careful with that. They. They, right? So we the. say do. do. Do dogs like cats? Like cat. Do dogs like cats? And the answers again could be yes, they do, or no, they don't. Yes, dogs like cats, or no, dogs don't like cats. Let's see, we have another one. Can you make the question, please? Monkey eats the monkey banana. Eat banana. Okay, do you do or does? Does. Does. Are you sure? Do. We're do. talking about monkeys. In do. Right? Monkey. Like before. Exactly. So before. if I am talking about only one dog, it would be it. That would be third person with does. But if I'm talking about more than one, the plural, dogs, monkeys, that becomes they. Therefore, I need do. Okay. Do monkeys eat bananas? Do monkeys eat bananas. Very well. And the okay. answers could be? He make his bed. Do monkeys eat bananas? What could be the answers? Yes, they do. Yes, yes they do or no? Yes, they do. No, they don't. They don't. They don't. Yeah. Exactly. Next one. Can you make the question, please? Does he? Exactly. Does he make his bed every day? Yes, does he does. Or he no, does, he, doesn't. he doesn't. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the information questions. So as Miss Jessica um, says in the video, whenever we use a WH word in a question, we're asking for a specific kind of information. So that means that you cannot answer only yes or no, right? You have to provide that information you are being asked about. So in order to make a information questions, we have different information words or different WH words. The first one would be what. What asks about things. And we could, we could use it in different combinations like what kind, what color, what time. Also we have who, who is to ask about people. 
I'm asking about a person or just people, right? Next one would be where, which is to ask about places. I'm asking about places. When I use when, I'm asking about time. And we also have the word how, which asks us about manner, the way we do something or the way something is. We could use it in combination with other words in the phrases, um, how much, how many, how often. So how do I make an information question? Well, first of all, I need the WH word. Any of the ones I have just uh, mentioned, what, who, where, when, or how. Then I need the auxiliary, do or does. Then I add a subject, and after that, I have a complement in the question mark. For example, when I say, what do you do? What do you do? You see, it starts with a WH question, the WH word, sorry, what, then we have do, then the subject, then the complement, and the question mark. And what could be the answer to this question? What do you do? Any ideas? How can I answer? Like what, teacher? I am learning English. <laughs> okay, so just be careful with the, the question, what do you do and what are you doing? Sometimes we get confused. What are you doing? So this one, what do you do, refers to your occupations, right? So what do you do? I'm oh, a teacher. Okay. What do you do? A I'm a nurse. I'm a mechanic. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that refers to what you do as a job, right? What do you do for okay. a living? In this one, what are you doing? That is for the things or yeah, the actually. activities you are doing at the moment. Uh, just now. Exactly. Okay. All right. So getting back to the what do you do? For example, Rodrigo, what do you do? I'm a salesman. All right. So mm -hmm. you say, I'm a salesman. Very good. Okay. Another example is, where does she live? Where does she live? What could be the answer? Where does she live? She lives. She lives in the city. She lives on the beach. In the city, in, apartment. Lives in, the in an apartment. Okay, very well. Another one. When do we start our English classes? What could be the answer? We start at 8. At 8 p.m. We start at 8 p.m. Very good. Okay. Okay, now we have the question, how many watches do you have? I have one. I have one. Okay, very well. So that's how we make information questions. Any uh, doubts about it? Is it clear? It's all clear, teacher. Great. All right, so then let's move to the practice. We're going to ask and answer. So here I have um, some different questions. Let me just send you to the breakout rooms so you have a little time to ask and answer the questions. And for example, Janai, what kind of music do you listen to? What kind of music? Do you listen? Do you to? listen? Exactly. So, what kind of music do you listen to? Tell me the answer. I listen salsa. I listen to salsa. To okay. Salsa. 
Very good. So that's what you have to do with all these questions. Let me just send a picture to the chat and I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. So you have three minutes to practice. You ask and answer the questions. Okay, so let's see. There you are. Now you can go to the breakout rooms. Yo las tengo, no sé si bueno, me quiero ver. O creo que las acaba de mandar al grupo, espérame. Yes, I just send them. Okay. Okay. It's not coming yet. Okay. No. No. Didn't you get the picture? Oh, no, this is not coming loading. yet. Yeah, maybe okay. Now? In this moment, right now, right? Okay, yeah, sure. okay, and let's start. Okay, what kind of music do you like? I like the rock music. Oh, what kind of music? And you, Roxana. Um, I like pop music. Pop music, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gladys, and you? Where I like mm, merengue. Okay. 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 Let's start with the second. Uh, where where do you usually go on weekends? Teacher, yes. where do you usually go on weekends or where usually? Where do you usually? Where do you usually you go on weekends? Mm -hmm. Okay. Where do you usually go on weekends? That's it? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. In the answer is mm, I usually, I usually yes. clean my home. Okay, in that case, you could say I usually stay home, right? Because I'm asking about where do you go, right? Where do you usually go oh. on weekends? So I usually stay home. I, I eat, I go to the park, I go to a restaurant, for, for example. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Continue. Uh... Uh, the four what what uh, hello hello hello, Silvia. Silvia. hello i have a problem irene okay i'm sorry no problem okay uh, what is the question in the four uh, what uh, what do you what do you drink in the morning uh, Sylvia what do you drink in the morning I am I am drinking coffee in the morning just remember, mm -hmm. we do not use the verb be in these cases, right? We use, we just use the simple present. So that will be, I drink. I drink. I drink. I drink I coffee. Drink, uh -huh. I drink exactly. coffee. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Marina, what time go to the bed? Where do you, okay. When do you shop, when do you go shopping? Um, 
I go shopping galerías? ¿O no, verdad? ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo? Yes. ¿Cuándo está? Yes. When do you go I shopping? Go shopping. Um, ¿Pero ahí cómo sería? Every uh, month. <laughs> every month. Teacher, need mm -hmm. your help? Tell me. The, the, the answer for the when do you go shopping? Mm, the question I am. Um, well, so you could answer like I go shopping on Sundays. I go shopping on uh, weekends, for instance. Maybe okay. I go shopping every month. Every month, but that would be more uh -huh. like how often you go. Mm, okay. Yeah, so in this case, when would be more like um, a specific day when you go? Okay. Mm -hmm. I go shopping. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Saturday. At Saturday. On Saturday. Okay. Mm -hmm. On Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. How many? Okay, I'm sorry. How many? Sorry, how many? I. I listen pop music and romantic music. Show me, sir. Pop music, okay. And uh, Morena, uh, Morena, where you usually go? Where do you usually go on weekends? I usually go on weekends at Shark, Shark, uh, on Sunday. So um, Morena, you say, I usually go to the church on weekends. I, I usually go to the church at weekend. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You usually go to the church or to the park, to the restaurant, just yes, whatever place you want to mention. And after that, you church. mention when you do it. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Um, what do you drink in the morning, Morena? Ah, I drink coffee, black coffee. <laughs> 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 oh, I drink up. coffee. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, right. Yes. Necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what time do you normally wake up? I would wake up at 6 a.m. 6 a.m., okay. Um, uh, what time do you usually go to bed? I go to the Okay, we are back. So let's see, let me hear some of your answers. Hilda, what kind of music do you listen to? I listen music, I listen pop music. I listen I to pop music. Romantic music. All right. English 
English uh, from English music. What? Oh, um, salsa. I like it. Great. Very good. Next one, Sylvia. Where do you usually go on weekends? Um, I go. I go uh, a church. You uh, go to church. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, um, uh, Sunday. On Sundays. All right. Thank you, Sylvia. Next one, Morena. What time do you normally wake up? Morena Aguila. What time do you normally wake up? I wake up at 6 a.m. Okay, very early. Yes. All right, Marina. What do you drink in the morning? I drink coffee. Very well. Juan Carlos Peña, what time do you usually go to bed? Go to the bed at 11 o'clock. At 11, okay. Adonai, how do you get to work? In this moment, I work in my home, but when I go to my work, I, I, in my car. Okay, you go in your car. Very good. Yeah. Francisco, where do you have lunch? I have lunch in my work. In your work, okay. Very good. Roxana, let's see, where do you live? I live in Buzuka. Okay, great. January. And um, when do you go shopping? I go shopping on weekends. On weekends. All right. Yes. Rodrigo, how many days a week do you work? I work uh, five days weekly. Okay. Very well. All right, so now let's practice by making questions from the answers, how come? So here I have a sentence. It says, we work on Sundays. We work on Sundays. So what could be the question in order to have this answer on Sunday? So what could be the question, Medias? When do you work? When do you work, exactly. When do you work? On Sundays, we work on Sundays. Okay, here I have another one. Let's see, I buy cars. What could be the question if we want the answer to be cars? What do you buy? What do you buy? Another one. Marina, can you help me with this one? He goes to the beach on Fridays. Uh, where do you go? On Fridays. Where? But we're talking about he. That's, ah, that's where that? He? Going? No. Go. Go. On Friday. On Fridays. You got it pretty well. Thank you. Where does he go on Fridays? To the beach. He goes to the beach on Fridays. Next one, let's see, Gladys. They swim in the river. Where, where, where do, mm -hmm. 
Where do swing? But who? The subject? They. They. Where do they swim? Where do they swim? They swim. Very good, Gladys. So we have, where do they swim? They swim in the river. Next one. Um, let's see who's missing. Rodrigo. Yeah. She drives very well. How does she drive? How does she drive? Mm -hmm. Just keep in mind that whenever we use the auxiliary does, we use the base form of the main verb, okay? Okay, good. How does she drive? Very good. She drives very well. That's the way she drives. Number six, Silvia Roxana. Alan likes pop music. Yeah, he does. Um, he the does. question what? is a WH word. What? Okay. <coughs> what? What kind? What? What? What kind? What? What, what, kind? what kind of music? What kind of music? Does, like does Alan like, like? Like. Very well. Thank you. What kind of music does Alan like? Alan likes pop music. Next one. Let's see. Hilda. Hello? Yes, teacher. Can you make a question using this? They invite their neighbors to the parties. They invite their neighborhood to the party. Who, how, who, who invite, who they, who do or does, do, do. Do they, they invite, invite the parties to, to the, the parties? parties. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Who do they invite to the parties? They invite the neighbors to the parties. Okay. All right, next one. Let's see. Adonai, please. Okay. Karen visits her best friend twice a week. When? When does? When? Um, there's another one we should use. What time? Mm, not really. No. How many? So, how many? How many? How many? Well, in this case, we ask how often. Okay. How often? Mm, okay. How often? How often does? Does. Karen. Karen visit her best friend. Visit her best friend. So we say, how often does Karen visit her best friend? Karen visits her best friend twice a week. Do you know the meaning of twice? Any ideas? Dos veces a la semana. Yeah, two times, right? Twice. Okay. Two times. So for only one, we have once. For two times, twice. Twice. And even for three times, we could say thrice. But it, it isn't very common, okay? Okay. All right. So that's it with the questions. Um, is it clear how to make questions using WH words? Yes? Are we clear about that? It's clear. Yes, teacher. Great. Okay, now we are going to talk a little bit about the possessive adjectives and object pronouns. So I've noticed that we are having a little trouble with these topics. So I want to review them. Maybe you have studied them before, but let's just take a look and review. Them. So My... first of all, we have the possessive adjectives and remember that we have a different one for each of the subjects. So for I, we have? I. 
my, right? Me. My. my. For your. you? Your. 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 Okay. His. About his. 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 See? Her. 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 It. 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 It's. We. Our. We are. Our. 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 And they. They. They are. There. They are. There. There, right? There. It sounds like the, the, the place right there. It's the same pronunciation. Mm -hmm. There, there. Okay. Okay, so that's yeah. what we have for the possessive adjectives. Those ones indicate possession, right? For example, when mm -hmm. I say my cell phone, my cell phone, your mm -hmm. picture, your picture, right? Or his car. His, his car, very well. Um, hair, what can we say? Her with son. Hair? hair son. It's? Hair. It's book. It's, what is it? It's light. It's okay. a letter. It's a pen. Pencil. All right. Our. Our class. Our class, very good. In their? Their house. Their house, exactly. Okay, so that indicates possession. Oh, and here I got possessive ad ad a possessive uh, pronouns and it's object pronouns, sorry about that. So it's object pronouns we're talking about. Mine. So, let's see, we have um, well, those ones go like me. Mm -hmm. me. Don't get confused with the, we have okay. possessive adjectives and we also have possessive pronouns. Los mm -hmm. pronouns son mine, yours, mm -hmm. his, theirs, and so on, but that's a different okay. thing, okay? So here, the object pronouns, me, for you we have? You. 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 For he? Him. Him. She. Hair. Hair. It. 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 We. Us. 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 And they. Their. Them. Them, right? Them. Okay, so there we have them. Then, as I said, the possessive adjectives indicate possession, right? What happens in the case of the object pronouns? Well, we use them to indicate that um, something or to, well, to talk about something that we already mentioned. For example, when I say, um, I really like my dog. I love it. That it refers to my dog, right? So in order to avoid repeating my dog, my dog, my dog, I can use it instead. Or also I use the object pronouns when an action, um, an action has, um, well, when I receive the action of the subject, right? For example, my sister loves me. My sister loves me. So my sister is the one who loves. I'm the one who receives that mm -hmm. love, right? Okay, so that's how we use possess possessive adjectives and object pronouns. Now I have some more examples to understand it better. So here we have um, possessive adjectives. This is my cell phone. January, help me to read, please. Our car is broken. Thank you, Roxana. Mm, their house looks nice. Their house looks nice. Thank you. Eh, Francisco? This is his notebook. Thanks. Gladys? The mouse is hungry. Angry? The hungry? cheese. The cheese is for it. Thank you. 
Next one. Silvia. Where do you live? We want to visit it, you. Thank you. Let's see now. Um, Adonai, help me to read, please. I like your shirts. Where do you, where did you get them? Exactly. Rodrigo, next one. Where is Jimmy? We are waiting for him. Thanks. So that's how we use the possessive adjectives and the pronouns, the object pronouns. So here, as you see, we're talking about possessions. We're talking about things that are from different people, right? This is my cell phone, my, right? Our car, that means that we're talking about a car that is a, a possession of a group of people and so on, right? Then the object pronouns, first of all, we need a reference. For example, here, the mouse is hungry. The cheese is for it. What that, what is that it? So when I say it, Pronoun. we're talking about the mouse, the right? Mouse. Exactly, the mouse, it. Then I have, where do you live? We want to visit you, right? We want to visit you. Mm -hmm. I like your shoes. Where did you get them? What is that them? them. They. Well, yes, it's mm -hmm. they. We're talking about the shoes, exactly. Mm -hmm. In the last one, where is Jimmy? We're waiting for him. Him, him. refers to? He. To he. Jimmy, right? Exactly. So, um, well... We only have like one minute. Let me just explain this. So don't get confused with it and them because, um, well, it is for the singular. For example, in the case of the mouse, it. The cell phone, it. But if I pluralize it, like the, the mice, that would be the plural for, for mouse. The mice, that would be them. For example, if instead of saying the mouse is hungry, I said the mice mouse are hungry. Are hungry. The cheese mouse. is for them. For, for them in this case. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I changed it to the plural. And the same would happen with the shoes, for example, let's change it to, I like your necklace. I like your necklace. Where did you get it? Right, so please keep that in mind. We use it for the singular, them for the plural, in the case of things and animals. Any questions about this? No, teacher, for clear. No? Okay, so tomorrow we are going to do some practice about the possessive adjectives and the object pronouns. So thank you very much for your attention. Take care and have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.